live look over Morgan State University. Reminds me of my younger days in track <laughs> <laughs> or being chased, I don't know which. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's funny. You know, it's a great time to be outside, you know, but I guess if you're running track and these temperatures right now, we've jumped right over our average highs now of about 77 degrees. We're now sitting around 90. You add a few degrees because of the heat index, the humidity and the dew points high. Well, we're looking at a southwest wind now that's going to continue to add to that very hot, humid, summer-like feel. We have 90 degrees at BWI Marshall, 72 in Oakland, 75 down in Ocean City. We have 83 in Annapolis and 88 in Perry Hall. Here's Dave Mallon, weather watcher from Centerville. It's 90 degrees in his neighborhood. Ron Boblitz in Ellicott City, 90 there. We have Justin Wilkin, Wilkie checking in from Glen Burnie. 87 degrees there, and Bill Kearns in Stewartstown, Pennsylvania, 89 in his neighborhood. A little closer look at the temperatures. Everyone sitting in that mid uh, 80 degree range to about 90. You're seeing Glen Burnie near the water, just a little bit cooler. Dundalk at 84. We're getting a bit of a flow in off the ocean that's keeping temperatures a little cooler down in Ocean City. All eyes certainly on that forecast because this is officially the unofficial uh, start of summer. So we're kind of looking at that uh, through the weekend. But the southwest wind is, uh, is kind of wrapped around high pressure that's just moving off our coastline. So that's going to keep uh, the high pressure in play, the warm air in play. It's also going to continue to move off to the east and allow for more disturbances coming in from the west and the southwest. A lot of activity out to the west that's not really going to come in here in a severe form, but we will keep in our forecast a chance for some widely scattered showers and thunder showers. Satellite radar composite shows that really from the Great Lakes all the way down to the Gulf, we start to see some of that activity kind of creeping in. And as that high starts to move off the coast, well, we're going to see more and more of that. Now we are keeping our eye on what's considered Invest 91. It is an area of in, basically the National Hurricane Center is investigating it to see if it will develop. It is down just northeast of the Bahamas and that is kind of keeping the flow in from the east uh, and that's going to keep the temperatures a little bit cooler along the coastline. Our future cast shows how we may see some widely scattered showers going into tonight into tomorrow and even through the weekend, but it looks like we have percentages. It's not going to be a washout. Keep your plans in place. It just looks like we'll have warm temperatures and that chance for afternoon thunderstorms. Even this evening into the afternoon, we're looking at widely scattered showers. We'll get breaks and then the temperatures stay in the 60 degree range going into the next several days for the overnight low. So it really never drops off and cools down. And then we go right back into the 80s for the daytime highs. 823 is your sunset time today. South winds on the bay at 5 to 10 knots with 65 degrees tonight. A thunderstorm in spot and then tomorrow, 88 degrees, a thunderstorm in spots, really spotty, widely scattered. So uh, just keep an eye to the sky, but keep your plans in place. Okay, we will do.